What's up YouTube, Mr. Lamessi here, and today I want to take you on the journey of the hardcore no vitality necromancer. Now, this necromancer started out as a challenge uh, from one of my viewers, and it was essentially get a hardcore zero vitality added necromancer through the game. And I thought, oh, that'll be tough, but surely it'll be possible. Um, and we ran into a world of hurt. And I'll go ahead and just kind of share some of the deaths and some of the plays along um, as we went. So my first run actually made it to the Hell Ancients here. And Yay! I thought, oh, okay, you know, Hell Ancients, we had a, a teleporting Talik. He jumped on top of me. He whirlwinded me. It was brutal. That's all right. Second run will be better. Um, and I don't even show all the deaths in this video. But I do show some. This one was a little greedy of me, but I was like, all right, I save quit with half my health left. I'm totally fine. And you can actually see my what? character still has his gear on in the character screen, what? the selection screen, but he died. This is some weird D2R Are bug, I think, because there's a little bit of delay with the stuff on top. Um, and so that was very sad. Then we get through, we're in Act 5 Hell again. Uh, and I teleport forward, and there's what? a mob in the way, um, and or the barbarian. So they go to kill the barbarian, and I die. Then we're at Bale. This is a nightmare, I believe. And we just get blasted down by some charged bolts. And it's like, oh my goodness. So we make it back to hell. We get to the Chaos Sanctuary, and this is one of the worst deaths. I was feeling fine. I was trying to press the escape key, but I actually learned later, I thought I hit the Windows key, but actually control and escape um, will will uh, open the Windows menu. So I hit control escape, open the Windows menu, couldn't press any keys, my character died. Um, this was just a classic, easy, normal bail death. I, I was being dumb here. You can see I didn't have any potions in my belt, and then I just got spammed it's by bail, and uh, that was enough to kill me. So that was unfortunate. Was was this one fire. here, we're just kind of running around. And I thought I could maybe escape, get out. They were doing little bits of damage. And then the ghost just got on top of me and, and crit me and just blasted me down. Very unexpected. Uh, here I made it to Act 3 Hell. And uh, we got the, the Insta-Pop. Cold Enchanted, Fire Enchanted. I had good res, so I thought I could take a shot of uh, a Frost Nova. But I got double Frost Novid because he saw I ran away ever so slightly. So we make it back to Act 3 Hell. I'm trying to go really slow this time. Um, and we die. This was one of the worst deaths as well. Mephisto cheesed us with a blizzard. If you're not in line of sight of Mephisto, sometimes he'll blizzard you. I actually was worried that was going to happen. I thought I could heal, do something, get away from it. But there was no chance. So now we jump in and we have the baby Lilith run right here uh so we name the character baby lilith and i say i cannot kill baby lilith this is probably our 13th attempt i would say overall some attempts didn't make it nearly as far but these are kind of the good ones and baby lilith just gets out and starts her usual farming and what's funny about this run is that it actually didn't have good uh, items at all. On some of the other runs, I had stuff like Durial Shell, which is godly on a run where you aren't allowed to put points in Vitality, but you get Durial Shell, which has the plus life and all the res and cannot be frozen. Um, we found, you know, Laying of Hands on a run. Like, we had a lot of runs with a lot of good gear. But Baby Lilith did not get any gear. It was just, like, super sad how bad her gear was. But we're able to get through. We're able to get to normal... Uh, so Bail, kill him. Here we're at Nightmare Bail, taking Nightmare Bail down, and just getting ready to uh, continue moving forward, which is nice, right? Again, this isn't new though, and I was feeling pretty meh about this run. I was trying to farm up as many gem shrines as I could, so you see there's one there. I did that a lot for crafting, for getting perfect rubies, perfect diamonds. We had a triple rubied helm, we had a triple diamond shield etc. We were just that's, doing that's a lot 
of uh, farming of gem shrines. After that, we made it into to hell, as you had seen, and so we're just kind of farming. We're just farming up random places in hell. Bone prison and bone uh, armor are the heroes of this run, of course, because you're able to at least kind of trap most monsters. Ghost you can't trap, which is always just, like, brutal. Um, but you're able to trap most monsters here, and uh, then you can kind of just kill, and then use corpse explosion, and bone armor, of course, being a hero, because I don't have much life at all. Now, you can see this was actually the closest I came to death on this run, and I wasn't even intentionally trying to do that. I'll go ahead and show that again right here, because it's uh, absolutely ridiculous just how brutal that was. So, I mean, literally down to 9 HP, I didn't see that mob appear, and then there was the Conviction Aura as well, which just was brutal. So that almost was the end of Baby Lilith, but she made it through that. She made it through Chaos pretty easily, actually. Chaos normally isn't crazy tough if you can find a little space to kind of create a gap for yourself. Um, but, uh, you know, again, this this character, this, this hero is just kind of having some trouble with that, I would say, overall, having, like, gear and all of this. But she was able to find a gap in the chaos and then kind of work her way out from there. I say she because her name's Baby Lilith there, but it is the Necro, so it is still a he. Um, what is gender anymore? Uh, and so we get, the, we get through that. We get through the Ancients. We make our way into the Bale Waves. It was a little bit scary. Uh, I'm trying to think what mobs we exactly had down here. I think we had some, like, death knights and stuff, which can be a little bit scary, right? There was, like, a boss group of death knights um, and, and such. So that was a little bit worrisome. But we get through the waves. We make it to Bale. And sure enough, Baby Lilith is the character that cannot die. Baby Lilith kills uh, Bale and makes it through overall so finally. finally we were able to complete this run after literally like wow. i said about 13 tries and so many deaths that were just so brutal i figured oh surely no vitality does sound hard but i'm good at this game i can get through this game um no it just it was just too much there was there was just like too much overall I, I think happening uh, and it was just too brutal. There was just too many places where it could just mess you up. I think that's the best way to say it. It was like, oh, you're doing fine. Oh, here's a Frost Nova from a monster you didn't expect and you're dead. Oh, you're doing fine. Here's a Blizzard from Mephisto. You're dead before you see it. Oh, you're doing fine. Here's a crit. I mean, it was crazy. There was multiple times, I didn't show all of them, I showed you the one with the Frost Nova, but there were multiple other times where you're like walking through normal or nightmare and you're really low life there because you don't have like P rubies and all your stuff. Um, and you're like walking through all of that and you just get like one white monster comes up and taps you and you're down to like 15 life. And you're like, wait, what? <laughs> like you almost die from a single monster just like hitting you? Uh, so that happened a lot of times and there was just, you just had to worry about everything because any, at any point, a couple monsters hit you at the same time, you get crit by something, whatever, and you just die. So anyways, uh, yeah, that is the journey there. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, you can see the gear right here on my character. I'll go ahead and let my, uh, self just exit out, showcase the gear, and then we'll leave it at that. Here was our gear. Spirit, of which we rolled two. First one was uh, pretty low. A triple rubied mask. An 18 all res ami. A tri uh, no diamond energy shield. Run next. No energy ES run. We swapped the stealth out for just the hard, larmer, hard leather armor of the whale, and I think that actually ended up saving us. It definitely did, because we hit 9 HP on that one, and that would have bursted us down. 26 fire as gloves. Again, so far, the gear. Hook. 
25 fire res ring. This is our like first nice piece of gear and it came from Hell Diablo. Dual res, life, the strength didn't end up mattering really, but it gave us potential of using it. And then this also was like act four chaos or something. And we shopped these after a while of shopping. Which was, uh, nice at least. Yeah, it took us a little bit to shop, but that was a good shop. And then Telly Staff. Then we had, uh, life, 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 res, res, life, life. Again. Pretty weak charms as well. No, like, 20 lifer, whatever's, no big res. We have five and four cold res. That's all the res we have. I mean, it's insane. This is the gear that we had for this run. Absolutely insane. Because in other runs, we had Nokazin, we had Durial Shell, we had Rock Stopper, I think, one time. We had, you know, Tri-Res rings that were like 72 resistances. Don't forget to like and subscribe, though, YouTube. Peace, everybody.